Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. And <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> okay, okay, the airport. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. What's she up to? Michelle, there is no need to panic. The LSPD are here to escort you to the hangar.
ain't like it is, pal. She's totally flipped. What's she up to?
You're playing chicken? The show will the car! Stop the car, lady. We'll protect you, just pull over! I need to borrow your car, lady. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, your dad's back!
here's a vacation. Hey, who this? It's Antonia Bettino. You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? Oh, shit, how can I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now, there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now, I gotta get off the line. Thank you again. Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my Ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh-huh. It ain't working so well for me. 
In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all gotta be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit! So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich. White Michael. Poor Michael, who robbed banks for ten years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get-out-of-jail-free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You're a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Pour me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files, chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? The place is up here. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be waiting. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Always on time, bro. This place gives me the creeps, Holmes. Same with this Fed pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. On it, bro. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. If you wanna pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump.
Okay. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security team. I think maybe the alarm's going. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. They better be. Maybe they're in, like, my computer. So, if I were you, I'd, like, find my hack programs. And then I'd, like, run the connector. At least one of us is a computer expert. So, I'm thinking you, like, find that number at the top and all those numbers in the middle? There's a lot of fucking numbers, bro. To be honest, I must have skipped this class in school. All right, I'm connected. No thanks to you. No need to be aggressive, bro. I'm stretching myself. Why don't you see what the other program does? I think you're looking for a password here. So, like, yeah, you're trying to stop those red letters in, in the middle. There might be a bit of laggage or something. Oh, the password might reset if you lock the wrong letter, dude. Okay, I'm in. You got anything other than a guess for this part? You never mention anything about networks, bro. Just saying. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Rose, I think they're coming. Hear that? 
We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we'll put... Chopper, bring it down to the building. Be ready to go. Airlift initiated. Stay by the building. Here they come. Pop these motherfuckers. Hey. Chopper's here. The process ain't finished yet. I'll hold here. Wait on your signal for pickup. Yo, Lion Cowboys! They're on top of us! We in and out! Up and left! Four guys! Corrupt asshole! Right side of the roof! Look out! Hey, hey, hey! Dude's on the roof, right side! Freak! MIB choppers, pick me up! Clear for takedown! Stand coming! I'm in! I'm hit! Kid! Get it! Round! Hold up! Ride this out! Choppers have gone, dudes! Oh shit, man! Don't worry, we got a backup plan! Use the harnesses! Repel from a few floors down! Ah, oh, shit! They smoking us out! It's just... Just a little smoke, people! Serious bad luck, bros. What? Dude, that chopper crash ripped the ass out of the building! A couple of floors, man! Devastation! Great! Ah, thanks! Motherfucker! Technical! Force. Hey, you're good to go, man. Grab it! All right, man. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through! On your knees! Where you going? So, Em, you gonna clear this room or what? Come on, come on! I got this door! Dude, spot it! Let's move! Opening. Here we go. Yep. Let's keep it moving, dog. Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can a hacker shut it off? Uh, Lucan. Sprinkler system. You got any ideas? Start. Maybe, like, take a screwdriver to him? Of course. Why did I ask? Hey, let's move! Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Because he might be a... Oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Man, let's get the fuck out of here. No, we're too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! Oh! Open, you cunt! 
Let's go! Go cash your pension! Corrupt ass bitch! Through here! Come on. Oh my god, my love! Following you! Fuck! We getting out of here! Let's get out of here! I need some cover! You gonna step to me? Let's go! Let's do this! Moving! Moving! Always moving! Hey, let's move! We got what we came for! On the... Back down, assholes! Following you! Stairs, man, come on! Keep going! Come on, we own you. Show us the way, huh? Push, people! There's a way outside. We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? The same old shit, bro. Making bacon. Oh, right. You mean like with your deal. Um, maybe they call the military or something? Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. Awkward, bros. A bureau chopper seen you on the side of the building. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Go! Go! Shit! Shit! Income! Take out that chopper! It's gone, dog. Hey, set up the rope there, and we'll drop to the street. That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this fed building. Hey, you want to side with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dog. Let's do this shit. The driver meant to be around front. away with this all right all right we're clear Frank I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem 
Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Whoa, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this? Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Hey, come on in, man, but... Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Any longer and I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. On. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so. You want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dawg. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, well, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Appreciate it. Pacific Bluff. Hey, we're here. Hey, lie, let's go. Keep cool, old baby. It's just oh, a car. Sit, man!
Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? Because we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? You got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, this your frequency? Anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. What happened to Haynes? He get caught in the crossfire? Caught in the crossfire?
Just here for the opportunity. Now run. Touching reunion in a oh, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you can at the vantage point. Dave a hand. Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bitch by the pool. Inappropriate public spinning wow. to me, man! What a pansy! Oh! I need some oh, we've had here. enough casualties today! Ah! It's over here! 
This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely... Be sure you're clear. I'm taking... This one, so long. Be careful, Davey. Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morton. Wood. Shit! Chopper! Doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. To... Uh, you know, I've been meaning. To... I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you Tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah.
Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today it's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are OK. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Well, you know, I, I been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just, I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. Oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You. Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. My lawyer says you can't prove defamation.
Come back here, asshole! You gotta tell people that! Sir! You're up! I can taste the difference between $1,000 and $10,000 wine. Hey! Hit me up on Life Invader later! Big kiss, babe! Motherfucker, clean. are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. 
You're a goddamn lunatic! You're Man, I'm sorry, uh, fool! Citizens report. A You think you own the road, don't you? You peddling pricks! That's beyond annoying. Stupid outfits and arcane technology don't make you better than me! This country was built by and for the motor car! Go to France with your bicycles! Ride up a mountain! Look down at people! Fuck your own sister! And try and wear some clothes that leave something to the imagination! I can see your anal polyps through there! Josh Burn.
is wrong with you? I need a drink. Mr. That's Phillips. Right. Hope all is well, sir. What's going on, man? I call man, my girl fucking my homeboy. True, Santa. true. I, ain't mad I asked for your number, but they took my phone. What's up? 